What was ahead. the biggest surprise from round one so far for you? Uh, I think I speak for pretty much everybody. Uh, Michael Penix going number eight in the top ten. Michael Penix going to, to the uh, to the Falcons was pretty alarming. I'd say to most people. Um, now I understand uh, the Falcons. I'd say have a pretty good roster from an offensive standpoint. Obviously having Bijar Robinson, uh, Kyle Pitts, Drake London. Um, made some offseason signings, and obviously they signed Kirk Cousins to a hundred million, a hundred eighty million dollar deal, and all of a sudden they use their top ten pick on a quarterback, and a quarterback is not necessarily the need that uh, I thought that they would have been drafting. I don't think anybody would have um, saw a bunch of mocks having uh, a couple of defensive linemen. Maybe you could have drafted another receiver, had a surplus of guys on that side of the ball, but drafting Michael Pennis Jr. is a little bit questionable. Now, I get it. I think he was one of the better quarterbacks in college football last year. Um, was in the Heisman Trophy conversation. A lot of people should have uh, thought that um, Pennix should have won it over Jaden Daniels, who did go number two overall, and um, has had injuries in the past, but I don't feel like it should – affect his draft stock obviously it didn't because he went in the top 10 but for him to go to the falcons wasn't really a team i thought he would go to given the fact that the falcons just drafted or just signed a guy for 180 million dollars and that being in kirk cousins kirk cousins has signed lucrative contracts in the past um guaranteed contracts that is and i believe this contract the first two first two years were fully guaranteed so um I don't know where there's like a, a clip going on or going around uh, showing the GM is like, ex, like talking to Arthur Blank. I don't know if he's like <laughs> explaining it to him, like say, this is going to be our guy going down the line. But yeah, I don't know if you use the top 10 pick, like a, t- a top eight pick with a number eight overall pick on a Michael Penix after you just gave a guy damn near $200 million. So it just, doesn't make sense to anybody, really. Um, I think Michael Penis is a baller. Um, I would have liked to see him go to the Raiders. That's kind of where I was thinking he would go, given on how the draft was falling out. But um, you saw right after that, JJ um, goes 10 to the Vikings because the Vikings moved up. And then you see um, the Broncos didn't really have to move up and get anybody. Um, they stayed patient at 12 and got Bo Nix, who I thought would have been like a second or third round pick. So let's go one for one because I know we probably have a lot of the same ones. So let's just go one for one. So going back on the Michael Penix thing, like Toddy mentioned, signing Kirk Cousins to four-year $180 million. When you could have took a Roma Dunze, a Dallas Turner, a Lati Lulu, this wide receiver room re- relies around Drake London and Kyle Pitts. And they have had subpar performances. Jake London last year was 69 catches, 905 yards with two touchdowns. Kyle Pitts, 53 yards, 667 yards, and three touchdowns. The other two guys in that wide receiver room, Rondell Moore, 40 catches, 352 yards with one touchdown. And Cahedral Hodges with 14 catches, 232 yards, and zero touchdowns. They could have gone so much more. Even on the bottom of the draft, it said needs. It, it, none of the needs said quarterback. You don't go out and make this kind of a decision in the offseason to go get a Kirk Cousins and then draft his replacement. I saw on Twitter that um, he was kind of taken by surprise. You know, he wasn't surprised that a quarterback was going to be taken, but so early in the first round, I feel like we're in another Aaron Rodgers, Jordan Love situation. I'm not saying Kirk Cousins, Aaron Rodgers by any means, but the Packers were ahead of the time. They don't <laughs> that you have a great quarterback and they can only do so much. You know, with Kirk Cousins coming off of an Achilles, you would think they try to put old, old linemen around him, some more weapons around him to make his job less easy or less hard. But now bringing in this controversy before the OTAs even start is going to be a, a hell of a show to watch. But 